Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. It is March 1st, 2024, and we are here for the Festival of Wales. And today's venue is actually Ocean Institute. This is a great venue, and check out this guy playing the guitar. We're gonna walk on down and show a little bit of what Ocean Institute has to offer in this opening ceremony, which is pretty exciting. And we're gonna walk over here and check out this little fireplace they have going. You can come and sit here and relax, have a glass of wine, bring your family and enjoy the little warmth that the fireplace offers. And we're gonna bring you Don down to the beach here. Come on, let's go and check this out. This is pretty cool. We have a beautiful sunset today. And there's gonna be quite a bit of people compared to what it normally has, but um, it's a pretty beautiful day and Check out this little uh, entry place. There's a little gate right here that not many people know about. It's a little entry towards the beach, to the beach, and you can see where the sun is setting. The point right there is actually got some really cool tidal pools and, and caves for some photo op. So come on, let's go check this out. So come on guys, let's go to the beach. Wow, what a gorgeous sunset. Wish we were here, but actually that's kind of funny because my boat's name is Wish We Were Here. And this is a trip because I am actually looking to the ocean from the beach. I normally don't get this view. My view is from the ocean to check out the beaches. But, oh, there's uh, there are the paddle boarders, volunteers who start the opening ceremony. And up on the bluff, you see the crowds over gathering to check out the view and the opening ceremony. There you see a bunch of people sitting in a circle. This is what we call a paddle out. And they are doing the opening ceremony, which is a ritual to pay homage to the gray whales that are passing through here and our love of the ocean. So here you'll see the volunteers all gathered in a circle. They're saying some prayers and asking for blessings from the ocean. And there, there's the finale, the closing of the opening ceremony. And what do we have here? A couple of ukulele players singing over the rainbow. What a perfect song for this setting. And here's one of the volunteers coming out of the water. Hey dude, what's up, man? And if you look through the point where the sun is, is there's actually really cool tidal pools at low tide and some caves for good photo ops. So if you're ever visiting, this is a cool free activity you can do with the whole family. We took a walk back to the harbor and this is behind the break wall so you'll see everything super calm. This is the channel of the harbor and I must come down this channel 250 times a year. But oh, dude, there's my buddy's boat. Nice little parker. And if we span over here, you're going to see the Dana Point Yacht Club. And we're back at the festival and they're serving up some wine. And of course, there's a line for the wine. It actually rhymed. All right, so... The, guy, the musician's still playing, so people are enjoying the music, enjoying the sunset, very relaxed, and obviously I'm not the one taking the video because there I am standing there talking to people. And here's our taco stand with some really good Mexican food, well-priced, not too expensive. Come on, let's keep going, and then we'll see our merchandise stand right here really cool swag it's very very affordable last year i think it was like five dollars a t-shirt and we're going to take a walk on over to the entrance of the ocean institute here's a little souvenir shop and then what's really cool behind all this is actually an aquarium and tidal pool and now there's a museum that was actually the size of a blue whale heart so this museum is actually really educational for the kids, for the family, adults alike, professionals alike. I learn so much every time I come in here. Such a cool place to just hang out. 
and check out all the fossils and you can read up on all the different factoids for the animals that are around here. Hey, come on. Okay, we got to go because the natives are actually going to do an open ceremony. I think they're going to do a prayer and some songs for a blessing for the festival. Let's go and, check this uh, out. I'm just going to kind of quickly, uh, you know, the blessing that we do at the ocean is so very special. And what I was doing was just honoring the sacred directions. And um, and then I was honoring the, the whale. You know, this is a whale festival, so we honor the whales. But Kuyowut is how we say whale in the Ahashima language. And the Ahashima people are the, we are the people of Orange County, basically. We are, we had villages everywhere, and here was a very sacred place. Dana Point, what we call Dana Point today, was very sacred. So, um, so anyway, so I did a blessing uh, at the ocean, and um, it's a very special being. And as they travel through, you know, they send messages to the people on the land and just giving us courage, giving us hope, but also they are one day hoping that we'll take over because they've been caretaking the earth, all the whales, and they, they're thinking, when are those human beings going to get together, get their act together? <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, that's all of that. Well, we're going to sing a song for you right now, the ocean song, and it's a very special song, and it's perfect for today and for the whale festival. So you're going to have to hold the mic. Day two, that's March 2nd, 2024, and we're back at the Whale Festival, or Festival of the Whales, and today we have the Whale Festival Magical Migration Parade. It starts at 10. Actually, we're really blessed because it's been raining the night before, last night, basically, and it's going to rain again tomorrow or later this afternoon, so we caught this parade right on time, and you'll see coming down here or you might have already seen the big, huge, inflatable killer whale, which is also called an orca. Very, very fitting for this uh, this year's Festival of the Whales because back in January, and actually late December, we had many opportunities to actually see these orcas in our waters. They were as close as half a mile outside of the harbor. And if you're interested, you can check out my other videos that show you what we saw and hopefully you'll enjoy it today we also have a cardboard classic dinghy dash we're not going to go to that because of the weather it's really kind of cold so we're just going to walk through here and you'll see a lot of vendors for the historic buildings that contribute to the visual character of the community and serve as a reminder of the data points rich and colorful past for the enrichment of current and future generations of data points
Oh, well, here comes some more balloons. And it's going to be having the, the showings of the Tempest. Wow. Beer gardens and vendors. This will be an event for the See the big family. fish. Coming at the end of June here. Two uh, fish. June 29th and 30th. Side here. Okay, we're walking back towards the parking lot. And here we have the Whales, Tails, and Ales Street Fair. They have a lot of products that are ocean-related themes. And funny, right behind here is where my boat is docked. So if you guys are ever in the area, look me up. It's off the Great Ocean Adventures. Book a trip with me and let's go out and see some whales. But back to this street fair, you'll find really cool stuff, all handmade local vendors and everything from paintings and caps and journals to surfboards. And there's my puppy, Yogi. What's going on, dude? Enjoying the day? All right, guys. Come check us out. This is really cool. Next year, if you don't have anything to do, come and visit. Does she journal? Make it a point. And I have we'll a couple next of year. ones, too. I think I have the blank. Oh, with the blank one. Mm -hmm. That's like Yogi. Yeah, that's kind of like, that's not as pretty. Oh, well, look at this. Hey, this is supposed to be day three of the Festival of Wales, but the weather was horrible, so we didn't really make it out. But I wanted to just share with you, this is actually the coolest part of the whole festival. It is a floating concert on the water at Baby Beach. And man, let me tell you, it is a blast. This is actually the my favorite part of the whole festival. As you can see, I'm on somebody else's boat. And this video was actually taken in 2023, which is last year, but Man, it is a party, and if you can get on a private boat or come on my boat, it is the best seat in the house. And But if you don't, you can walk down to the beach, enjoy the crowd, and I love the mosh pit, because you can actually get so close to the singers and throw yourself around in the water and just have fun. So I didn't capture everything that was on the Festival of Wales, but here you have, you know, one thing I did really enjoy was the chowder, chowder showdown. And it's a cook-off, lots of good food. But I expect to see everybody here next year, okay, you guys? So be sure to put it on your calendar, March 7th through 9th, 2025, and we'll see you out here. Okay, well, that wraps it up for the Festival of the Whales 2024. Here's my link description below. You can book me anytime. There's mammals all year round. But if you do have the opportunity to come check out the festival, please do. And until then, everybody be safe out there, tight lines, and we'll see you when I see you. Oh. Whoa, he's so close, Will.